Hi guys and welcome back to this episode here at Mod Studio. So in this one I'll be showing you how you can create a texture that you've uh, downloaded from the internet that's unusable and import that into Stable Diffusion, Stability AI, create a seamless texture using Adobe Sampler and then all the necessary textures export that out to Speedtree and apply it to your trunk. For those of you who don't have the um, access to something like Stable Diffusion and stuff and Adobe Sampler, I will be providing this texture for you guys to be to download this on my camera. So feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the tutorial. So you're in Photoshop, if you have a texture like this, what I would like to do, what I normally do is I quickly create a new layer and then I just flatten these images and I'm just going to use the clone stamp brush and just paint all over the place here. Just alt on the keyboard and let's just paint, fill in all the gaps here. This doesn't need to be perfect because we'll be um, using Stability AI to create the non-repetitive or cleaned up texture in the AI. So let's quickly use this. Um, for those of you, um, you can use the Adobe Sampler's inbuilt AI system, but I've tested that and I didn't get any good results of it. So what I'm doing is I'm using this rather than... Okay, so we have something like this. So what you'll do is we'll export this out. Let's say file export, and then we'll just quickly pop this on the desktop here quickly and save yes okay so now the next step would be to import this into stability AI or a1111 and then we'll generate the texture or the seamless texture that is generated with the AI of that so um, the link in the description down below the model that I've used for that uh, for those of you who don't have uh, access to stability AI or haven't yet installed a 1111 there are tons of tutorial online or and for those of you who want this texture in the end this will be available on my gumroad page link in the description down below okay so now we're here in stable diffusion um what i did is just go over to the image to image and into image to image just drop your image that you've set out from photoshop Okay, so now what I've done is all I did in the prompt is added the simple text saying seamless trunk texture of a cherry wood tree. Okay, and then I went down to the sampling method and I just set that to DPM plus plus twim caras. And the sampling steps I put it up to uh, 35. I have uh, 40 90s in my system. And then all I did is just match the height with this little. Um, ruler icon down here and the denoising strength i've put it to about 45 43 and that's just telling the ai to have some more um freedom to do what it wants so let's just hit the generation button here give it some time to do its stuff and as you can see we have a nice looking texture here and this would be saved out normally to your outputs under image to image and then it would automatically create a folder from the date you've created and then it would be located there all right so now the next step would be is to import that texture to adobe sampler and create our necessary textures create the seamless texture of it and adding a few details like moss and stuff like that so see you in the next part okay so now we're here in Adobe Sampler and uh, it's quite simple these steps you need to do is where you've uh, saved out this texture all you need to do is just drop that into your viewport right over here so let me just quickly locate that texture and this is this texture that we've created so all we need to do is just drop that into your viewport here image to material AI powered let's select that and let's import that Okay, so now it's imported, but as you can see, we're having this visible seam lines and that is not what we want. So let's go over to the add layer function here and let's go to make it tile and let's give it some time to do its magic. It's working great, but we can still see a visible hard line here and that's normally due to the contrast here. So let's just take down the contrast. As you can see what happens there, smoothing that out smooth this you can play with this a little bit more threshold this out a little bit more but furthermore we can create some more interesting details on this so let's go by uh, underneath the make tile let's look at the raw let's look at wood finish and let's put this underneath the make tile and let's set this to raw and in the finish raw let's put up let's take up the saturation value luminosity let's take this down the saturation just a little bit down somewhere about there 
Okay, and uh, let's look at the moss filter. Again, let's put this underneath and make a tile. And in the saturation here, yeah, let's just desaturate this to value like this. And in the moss height, let's take this down. So there are only a few of them on the tree trunk. Okay, so now what we've done is we've created our normal map, as you can see here. We've created our roughness, uh, the height information, as well as the ambient conclusion. So in the image to material here, let's go and zoom in here and let's give it some more micro details and the medium details as well. So let's go over to the height tab here and as you can see we're getting that information here now for our height. Okay, so the last step is when exporting, um, let's add a upscale here. Put down the upscale, continue anyway. And it's, it's upscaling this to 2K now, but if you set this to 2K here, it will be upscaling this to 4K. And if you're using 4K, it will double that as the symbol you suggest. Okay, so that is it. So let's export this out, export as. I'm just exporting this to uh, Cherrywood 2. And let's just rename this to cherry wood three let's look like that unique and just give it a few minutes and as you can see we just pull this up and as you can see we've created our texture that we'll be using in speed tree so the next part will be to apply this in speed tree see you there so welcome you are here in speed tree now so i'm just opened up at the demo scene of the stump texture here so let's hit the plus and minus icon over here let's hit this to trunk or let's call this uh, all right, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to throw these in to the necessary slots. So let's throw in the albedo to the color here, uh, the normal to the normal, the roughness in the glossiness, but we'll be inverting this. Let's invert that like so. And let's push this up to 1.5. Okay, and let's look at the height information. So just make this a little bit smaller and let's look at the height information let's put that in there set that value to one and the AO to the ambient inclusion and let's look at the specular level right over here put this into specular that is it for all the necessary textures that we require so now let's apply this to the trunk here paste this and let's go into the trunk in the UVs and this I'm just going to enable fractional and let's just take this down a little bit and in the renderer here let's go over to scribed and in the segments let's increase the value here as well as the radial value to have much more information there and let's go back to the render standard view and in the displacement let's use the material just extrude this a little bit more so this is normally how i go about creating trunk textures or any texture that I require for my scene. So guys, I hope you've learned something. Um, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below and that little thanks button would be much appreciated. Uh, feel free to hit us up on our Patreon. Support there would be much appreciated. And for those of you who want this texture, this will be available on my Gumroad and for all my Patreon users. So stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.